Hey y'all, welcome to a vlog. It has been quite a while, but I am trying to get back on my content swag. We're trying to get on it so we can all be friends again. It is October 8th. It is 9.50 a.m. I am getting ready to head to the beauty supply store to grab some stuff for work. And I have a few clients today, but I don't start until one. We had a couple reschedules, so that gives me my whole morning. So I'm just going to the nail supply store today to get some products for my clients. I started doing nails a few months ago, FYI. So we gotta go get like some fall winter colors, but I am just getting dressed. I just threw on a basic tee and some scrub pants. I have to get my hair together. I hope you all have been well. I really do. I really miss coming on here and talking to you guys and making friends. Let me raise the tripod just a smidge. There we go. Okay. So I cut my hair short, shorter, like mm, January. I've cut it like three times. So I am finally letting it grow out now. So it's like this all burnish color but i am getting it blonde again next week so the next two weeks are just honestly kind of me getting myself together there's so much to update you guys on i'll show you what i get from the store and then i'll show you my new salon suite that i've been in for the last few months that i'm leaving the end of this month because I don't like it and I found the perfect place. So I'm breaking my lease and it is what it is, but sometimes you have to lose some stuff to gain what you really want. So I will show you guys my suite because I wanna make sure that you see that before I leave it. But this by far has been my most trifling location. I just, it is in a great area, but the building itself is just honestly not, to be honest, it's not up to my standard. And there's really no easy or nice way to say that. It's just not up to my standard. The building is not maintenance well enough for me and my clientele. And every provider feels differently about stuff like that, but I don't like to work somewhere where the bathrooms aren't clean or the hallways are not kept nicely or the outer perimeter of the building. That just won't work for me personally. Where's my, um, oh, my job. So that is why I'm leaving this suite. It's just not gonna work. And then I'm more of someone who likes to rent rooms out of another Space, like my last room was in a med spa if you guys remember my pink room and that is just more my speed I honestly hate salon suites because they just make you feel like you're in jail a lot of times honestly they feel very confined after a while especially if you don't have a window or something like that so this new space has a window but it's always kept covered because of the nature of my work. I'm always doing Brazilians. So the window was really a waste of my money, but I thought it would make me feel a little less jail-like, but it hasn't. So I am breaking my lease, moving into the new place, the beginning of the month. So that's gonna be a whole moving salon suites vlog, which will give me some content. I should wash my lashes, but I'll be honest, I'm not in the mood for that right now, so we'll do that tonight. My morning routine is so simple. I just do my sunscreen and go. I still don't really wear makeup, so... However my skin looks is just how it looks. I have been super natural this year and just embracing my natural look. So let's head out of here. I'm going to take my dog with me, my puppy, my baby girl, and let her sit in the car. So we're gonna go ahead and head to the nail supply store.
Okay, so this is my suite. You can't see all of it just yet, but I'm about to like get settled. It's like 12 something. We have about 30 minutes to kind of get ourselves together. So usually my room is ice cold. Today it's okay, but I have a space heater that I use that I'm not supposed to have. But the air conditioning is just not... We haven't figured it out and that's part of why I'm leaving because my clients are all naked. I do intimate services and I can't have my room 60 degrees. So I got a space heater. Uh, and anyone looking for a space heater, this one is by Drio, D-R-E-O. And if you really want a heater that is quiet and really works, this was, I think, $75 on Target, but it was so worth it. And it oscillates and everything like that. So I'm definitely glad that I bought this. I won't need it at the new space, but I'm going to use it for the house and maybe like when I do facials. So I just put it over here. I swear somebody was in my room. Oh, somebody was in my room. Okay, so this is what pisses me off. People who work here or whatever, they come in my room when I'm not here. And I notice when people have been in my space. Because why is my candy dish... Let me just show y'all. This candy dish was full. The guys who were working literally took pretty much a handful of candy. I think that's so rude. Okay, one or two, a handful. Let me show y'all what they did. So you come in my room, you come in my room and you do what you gotta do because they had to fix something up here with the ceiling, right? Let me just show y'all, you see that? They had to fix this on my ceiling. Okay, bet, but you left it. Like you left that up there for my clients to look up and see. And you didn't tell me I just think that's rude. And they left stuff everywhere. Look. So, left that there. Somehow, they must have moved my table and pulled out the box of exam paper. Like, I can just tell that somebody has been in my room. Then they even moved my dog's stuff that I hide on purpose. But y'all, I wanted her to fix this leak this ugly leak and fix the tiles and i guess this is what they did and they just left it so yeah that is part of why i'm leaving he stepped on my rug and left a print and i'm listen i am not trying to be picky or overly dramatic but to me there's just certain things that are just having cooth and being mindful of other people's spaces and I think you should leave things how you got there I'm understanding that you were doing work here but at the end of the day now I have to come in and adjust my stuff Plast plaster or whatever all on the stool anyway let's go ahead and get settled the lighting is funny but we gonna see how it does so let's plug in the space heater number one refill the candy if y'all haven't learned this about me i am just very particular about the spaces that i work in because in my head i spend a lot of money on rent and I just think it's about being mindful of other people's things. We're gonna refill our wax. This is the Beauty Image Wax that I use now. It's just their green, green wax, Beauty Image. This is really good wax. And I'll show you guys some other things that I've been using since you last saw me. Let's get our phone so I don't miss any text messages. First client says that she's going to be running late. 
which is fine. She doesn't take me much long, much time, so it won't be too long. All right, so what? But yeah, y'all. Just talking a little bit about why I'm leaving this salon space. As I shared this morning, I just don't like salon suites. I came here because I kind of had to find something last minute. And if y'all want that story, I'll give it to y'all. But basically, I had to leave my last space and I had to find something quickly because I don't have a lot of time. I have so many clients, y'all. I don't have a lot of time to, oh, I can take off a week. I have to find something pretty much immediately. And this was really the only space that was available that was in a good area. I knew the building wasn't really up to my standard, but it's just gotten worse over the last three months. And I ended up finding a space by God's grace. And I say that because I have looked at this space in the past, but it's always full. And a, a waxer previously was in there for years. And all the people who rent there don't leave. It's a very small house building house that they rent to people and it's very on the low you really wouldn't know what it was if you didn't go there to get something done which is my speed very cozy comfortable much more my vibe than these sterile boring salon suites right and i was very unhappy here recently the past couple weeks so i just decided to say you know what F it, I'm gonna look around and just see if I see anything that could work for me. And by the grace of God, that space that I have wanted that is so close to my house was open. She had just posted it. I texted her, came to look at it, and she did some research on me, liked me, and I went ahead and um, did my application. So yeah, I gave her my deposit and I will be moving in November 1st um so I'm supposed to be out of here by the 5th but I'm gonna be out of here probably honestly before the first I'm gonna really try to move in Halloween night because I have to get that space set up to work and then it'll probably take me like a couple weeks or so to get it cute you know like I like it but as long as I can get in there and work I'm good. This is the Harley Azuline wax that I always rave about. They actually gave me a discount code to a promo code for y'all that I'm going to try to find in my email and put it in the description box. But this is the Harley brand, Harley Waxing USA. This is the Azuline film wax. This wax is expensive, but it is so good at getting really fine, vellus hairs, stubborn hairs. This wax is like a mix of a cream and a gel and it is just so good at getting stubborn hairs compared to traditional hard gel based waxes so i always keep always keep this on deck so i currently am using the azuline and the beauty image wax i use both depending on what i'm doing i'm gonna let that wax kind of melt for a minute so yeah, I was just saying all that to say that we'll be moving and y'all will come on that journey with me to having another space. Prayerfully, I can stay at this space until I figure out what my life is gonna look like in the next couple years, for sure. But prayerfully, I can stay there and it works out for me and I have a really good feeling about it. These are my Medline tongue depressors. Y'all know I use these for my Brazilians and my body waxing. I have some extra sticks I just had at the house and I had sold my other two. Oh, I thought they took my listen y'all I forgot that I had moved my products I was like did they take my products because I'm about to go out but they're up there but I sell the bush balm products the roller rescue and the exfoliating toner pads I sell these now um, I need to order some more PFB I love PFB and it works well for most of my clients, but it doesn't work for everyone if I'm being honest. So I usually recommend 10 skin, but I wanted to start carrying product again that had a wider range of products 
and Bush Balm has a really good range. They have a serum, pads, oils. So I only bought the serum and the pads because I'm not the biggest oil fan for body Brazilian waxing. I'm not against oil. It's just not my top recommendation. Like waxers who only recommend fur oil and stuff like that. Me personally, if you have ingrown hairs, like true ingrown hairs and hyperpigmentation, you need some type of serum that contains an AHA, transcendent, uh, transcendent acid, I always say it wrong. You need something kojic, you need some type of acid to really assist with that. And oils can be beneficial and very healing, but on their own, in my opinion, they're just not going to do a lot for someone with really problematic skin. So I always recommend using something that has your acids in it. So this Roller Rescue is really good. The pads, I have not used enough yet to see, but my clients have been purchasing because they're at a great price point, which also encourages clients to actually buy the products because PFB can be a little pricey. So my clients who are more on a budget, this is a better option for them. I just want them to use something because a lot of clients will just come get a wax and they don't want to exfoliate, they don't want to use the product because they're being cost conscious. But at the end of the day, if they're going to wax, they need to buy something. So this was a great investment for me, these two products. But yeah, I had um, sold my other, my other two last week. <sighs> so one of my clients, she gets her, her sons come and get waxed now. And they get like a little bit of um, ingrowns on their chest and back with like some acne, like some back acne. So I got them the pads. So she said it's been helping. So I'm glad that I told her to purchase couple. <sighs> Yeah, whoever was in my room, they just left everything any old kind of way. Let me clean the bed off because I already know. Y'all probably had God knows what on this bed. So, come on light. So these are the prevention wipes, the one step disinfectant cleaner. I use these instead of cavi wipes now. I get them off Amazon, they come with refills they are not as strong of a smell and i just think that they're aesthetically more pleasing i found out about these through a fellow esthetician and i've been using them ever since so amazon and i'll show y'all in a second some products that i've been using and enjoying lately when i say i cannot wait for the new space y'all and it is so much bigger we're gonna have a blast we are going to have a time okay it's gonna be a time this fall okay so this wax let me put a little bit more in here before i show you that because i do have two men today and they both are very hairy so let me make sure that I am ready before I start talking y'all's head off even more. Okay, so what are we using? So, since y'all have last seen me some months back, products that I have started playing around with. Waxness Dr. Bump line. They have a natural post epilation lotion with tea tree, rosemary, lemongrass, and sage. Then they have a hydrophilic non-clogging oil with grapeseed, avocado, chamomile, and lavender. First of all, if you're someone who's into more natural products and natural scents, these smell great. They smell exactly like lemongrass, tea tree, and mint. The oil smells the exact same. So the oil... I have been using for pre and post waxing and I do like it. The post epilation lotion, here's what drives me crazy about brands, okay? A lotion to me is a cream, a light cream based product. This is literally a liquid. 
this is a liquid you see, you see it dripping out this is a liquid it's the same texture same consistency of a of a, a like a leave on like a witch hazel a cleanser waxing cleanser lotion i just really waxing brands that call these things lotions irritate me call it a cleanser or a tonic this is not a lotion so i thought that i was getting a lotion and an oil so i haven't quite used this too much it says it can be used it's to be used after before and after waxing it's meant to sanitize and remove clean remove wax residue right <clears throat> it says to use with the oil two drops of oil and a small bit of lotion apply onto the skin with circular motions post waxing i mean i mean i i get it in terms of the sanitation portion i just personally haven't found a lot of value in this product i've tried to use it as a pre-cleanser it's fine i just if anything i would purchase the oil again and forget about the lotion tonic whatever and I would just stick to my regular cleanser. So I've been using up just the Satin Smooth products. I'm using up their cleanser, which is almost gone, and the aloe gel. So once these are over, I'll purchase a new product. But these are very inexpensive. They work. They are very gentle. They won't irritate pretty much anyone. And my only gripe with the satin cleanser is it is a little soapy so don't use a lot of it and you may have to kind of blot it dry a little bit with a paper towel or a gauze i'm not someone that likes soapy cleansers because of that it just irritates me personally but i'm used to it now but my preference of cleanser is not this one but it works fine and the aloe gel works good too and it smells good i prefer aloe that's not green but it's okay i really like the harley waxing cleanser and post wax products so i'm probably going to get those after i run out of these and speaking of harley i do use their pre-waxing oil i don't use powder anymore for waxing i use a couple drops of pre-waxing oil onto the skin before waxing with everyone i don't even have powder in here anymore i just have found that it works so much better and it protects the skin so much better and you get less breakage with the waxing and people get less irritated and beauty image again was so kind to gift me their post wax what is this called acid cream it's in their language it's in french but it's their post wax acid cream i think and it says it helps restore the skin's optimum ph improves appearance and luminosity contains bisabolol which provides a feeling of well-being along with lemon extract which is toning and moisturizing apply with gentle massage after hair removal so yes this is a cream not a lotion a cream it has like a, a slightly medicinal smell the smell just smells kind of like a medicinal cream i wish the scent was a little bit better but it's fine and i love this because after waxing the skin is compromised and people really need a, a rich moisturizer most of the time so i've been loving loving this and i've been mixing it with the oil so these have been a nice little combo for sure y'all's head off i have to change my battery i'm gonna chill for a little bit take out the trash and dress the bed i did want to update y'all because you know i normally use the massage table bed sheets but i have an entire box of exam table paper from amazon so i am actively trying to right here i'm actively trying to use these up so i can go back to the disposable bed sheets because they are more comfortable and aesthetically pleasing but i want to start using up stuff i have that i bought for my business that's just sitting around i'm really trying to use up product and just a bunch of stuff that i have that i don't necessarily love but i don't hate so i want to start trying to use it up so yeah once this is over i have quite a few left but hopefully i can run through them before the new location so we can start off 
I am so excited, y'all. I'm gonna keep talking about it. I am so excited. But real quick before I get off, I have been thinking about content. Why am I so dark? Y'all, I have been thinking about content and overthinking about content and really sitting like what I want to get back on YouTube. What do I need to do? How do I just overthinking creating content? I've been doing that for the last five or six months. And I was in a lot of transitions, things like that. And just recently this last week, I'm like, I need to get back on YouTube. I love YouTube. I need to find a way to make I need to find a way to make YouTube a priority because I enjoy making the content. I want to make different content and new content, but I think that will just come with time. Like for example, we're going to I'm going to try to make maybe it a series of me moving into my new space. Um, I'm thinking about starting to do more of just personal vlogs and see if I can grow those and just share other parts of me which I've done but most of my content is around aesthetics and entrepreneurship but even now with me doing nails I'll show y'all that I think this vlog is going to be wrapped up like here or in a couple more <laughs> um, clips and then my next vlog we'll talk about maybe like some nail stuff I just really want to start showing other parts of my life and just see what we could do with YouTube, you know? I think I think that if I put in the work and really try, YouTube could really be great for me. I really I really think so. So, I just want to say that. But I am going to take this trash out and I will see you guys a little bit later.